a shalom yashwala peace is all first and foremost as always we're going to give all praises in honor and glory to Yahweh, yahow bashem yahushai bashem kakadash double honor to our elders apostle great melson james whole world and our peace and blessings to the hopefully like i out there laboring in this ministry pushing this gospel all across the globe in righteousness in sincerity and in truth and also shalom to the akiam wa aqua peace and blessings to the brethren and sisters that be tuning and listening learning studying under the vibration of yahweh bashim yashai bahashim or kakadash yahweh that's the hebrew name of whom the world ignorant called god the god of abraham isaac and jacob yahweh means he is he to be he exists the being that existed before time also known as the issue of days in Yahweh Shachamash Yak, that's the Hebrew name of his beloved son, whom the world eagerly called Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shah means he who save, he who deliver, the savior of the elect of the nation of Israel, Baha Sham, Baha, which in the Sham name will call Spirit Kadash holy in the name of the Holy Spirit, which pretty much allow us to be able to understand this wonderful gospel. This is an appeal Hebrew, the ancient Hebrew, the last one Kadash, the holy tongue, the language that Yahweh Shah spoke to Paul. On his way to Damascus, the language of the heavens, and once again to Wadi Abashim Mashai for allowing us to be able to understand this wonderful gospel. And by the war, with two Akiam here from the Germans Boston, linking up to do a short lesson to this for Yahweh Abashim Mashai, Bahashim Kakadash, and Lord Wallen is edifying because uh, what you see happening is these devils pretty much when uh, all hell break loose, man. Right now, what you see happening, a recent uh, Capitol Hill, right? Capitol, was, was it Capitol Hill or? When the the the, yeah. the Trump supporter pretty much went down there to Washington to pretty much uh, disturbing what they call peace, right? So pretty much the, riot, the, riot. the riots, right? Yeah. So pretty much when all hell break loose, Esau gonna link us all together. You know, white nationalists, black Hebrew Israelites, anybody that's are pretty much standing up for righteousness in these last days, we basically are a threat to this devil's worship, man. So it's gonna come after us, man. So right now. What is it happening? Is go he's going after his own first, so that when he eventually when he eventually come after us, people can say, "Oh, that's racism." They're gonna say, "Oh, these guys are uh, uh, that's not racism because like Esau actually went for his own first." So, you know what I'm saying? They basically basically Esau trying to make it uh deceive the the mind of the people, right? You know, uh, the scripture says, "A uh, a marvel not for Satan shall also transform himself into an angel of light." I mean, so basically. He's make it seems like he's going after his own people now, but eventually he's gonna come after us. You know, that's ultimately that's a biblical prophecy. You want to add some, bro? No, come on, go into the um, article. It says, uh, and it says, a uh, white nationalists are once again using Christian symbol to spread hate. You know, and the article was on uh, it says, uh, 15 minutes ago, it says, uh, Washington, uh, it says, uh, hate crimes. Are on the rise against communities of color in 2019 they reached the highest level in more than a decade here's why and it says uh washington a screaming man with his face raised a byzantine cross uh, i can't even pronounce this word uh emblazoned emblazoned, emblazoned. in red in his t-shirt a white flag with a lone green pine tree <laughs> in the word in appeal to heaven, uh, flattering over the angry crowd, the Christian flag whipping in the um, in the wind from a from a park pickup. So it says, uh, those image on display at the January fifth and sixth rally and riots in Washington D.C. have raised concern that some of former President Donald Trump most ardent and dangerous supporters, including groups such as the Proud Boys or Keepers. Key, uh, what's this? Is this uh, Keepers, uh, uh, Kwan. I don't, I can't, remember. I can't even, yeah, yeah. It says, uh, in America, oh. first thing, are uh, cloaking themselves in biblical language to justify the action, you know, that's exactly what it is. Basically, when we go out there, pretty, pretty much we condemn this place, we condemn America because uh, America pretty much uh, going against everything righteous, everything that the Lord Yahweh Shim Shai says not to do. That's what America promoted, and pretty much the scripture says, uh, uh, uh matter of fact, uh, Amos, uh, I, I got a piece of go, 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 bro. Um, 
I got 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. They got it. And the brother got into it earlier saying how they're using these uh, events and, you know, uh, like the uh, protests or rioting as a way to pretty much uh, demonize uh, uh, a certain group of people. And the headline reads, the white nationalists, right? We're using yeah. uh, uh, Christian symbols. Symbols, yep. To, uh, to, to spread hate. To spread hate. You know, and we believe that, you know, that was all propaganda. That was all by design to ultimately uh, push a narrative to uh, uh, um, to infiltrate groups. Like they say, the so-called white supremacists, KKK, um, Christian identity uh, extremists. Uh, we know that the so-called, quote-unquote, black Hebrew Israelites is part of that uh, uh, group that they're watching under surveillance. Mm. You know, I have real quick, um, I went on Google, uh, Project Megiddo, you know, and brothers from, uh, from started from the elders and apostles and brothers on down from Great Millstone. We've been, you know, getting into all these files and uh, 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 reports that the government has uh, pretty much investigating these certain groups. So we believe that these events were also uh, uh, all by design to pretty much infiltrate these groups that they've been uh, uh, investigating for over 20 years. You know, so Project yeah. Megiddo was a report researched and written by the United States Federal Bureau of Investigations, the FBI, under Director Louis Fee, uh, Free, released on October 20th, 1999, the report named Followers of White Supremacy, Christian Identity, the American Militia Movement, Black Hebrew Israelites and apocalyptic cults as potential terrorists who might become violent in reaction to the new millennium. So, so this was all uh, 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 reports and research from from ninety nine. You know, so the reason why I brought out Second uh, Corinthians two and eleven, we're not ignorant of, of Satan's devices because we believe that this was all a uh, 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 a plot or a, a, a agenda to pretty much push the narrative that. You know, white supremacists or, or, or Christian identity, anybody who believes in the Bible or cultic, uh, apocalyptic cults, and you know, the Hebrew Israelites are potential threats. And that's part of prophecy as persecution must happen, you know, because mm -hmm. like the brother mentioned, so I'll keep on rambling, no, rambling you got, you got it. but the, uh, the brother mentioned we out on the highways and hedges condemning this place through the scriptures, saying that America is going to go down by thermonuclear missiles. We're identifying who Esau Edom is, which is the so-called white man, which is the Bible, that the, uh, which the Bible calls him the devil. So we are looked at as a potential terrorist for this, this, this speech that we are saying, but it's mm. only the truth. Mm. So this is why we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, because he's trying to control the narrative of, oh, Beware of these groups or, you know, just trying to put the Hebrew Israelites in the same breath as KKK or white supremacists. You know, they did that with the, even the black, uh, uh, the black Panthers, you know. So we, we just not ignorant of Satan's devices. We know that they got these uh, these uh, uh, reports and investigation on us to make us deemed us as terrorists or potential threats. But all we're doing is preaching the Bible. Huh? Come on, this is uh, Amos chapter Amos 5 verse 10. They hid him that rebuketh in the gate. Right. And they abhor him uh, speaking for right, uprightly, you know, like you said, right? So, you know, us, we, we're standing up for righteousness. Yahweh Bashi Mishai says, uh, Who will stand up for me yep. against the evil of the world, and who will uh, rise up for me against the workers, workers of, iniquity. of iniquity? So, pretty much, the fact that we're speaking out against this establishment, this wicked, this wickedness, we pretty much, uh, uh, they, they hate us, you know, they hate us for righteousness, like, you know. But Yahweh Shai says, Blessed are ye when men shall speak or men of evil against you for my name's sake. For yours is the kingdom of heaven. So pretty much, it's in our best interest uh, that they hate us, man. That's right. Because they hated the prophets of all, man. The prophets of all have always been hated by the by the people, man. That's because right. the prophets only, whenever the prophets on the scene, is pretty much to let you know that something is not right. Something mm -hmm. is not what it should be. That's right. You know? If I may mean, mention the, the the Bible, the gospel always has been controversy or against the government or rulership of of those times. And again. Coming uh, uh, in this this kingdom or this go around, hey, the Bible's condemning this place because this place is filled with wickedness. So you know, there again, Esau is going to use his media, his uh, his witchcraft, his uh, the lies and deception to pretty much 
uh, push the narrative as the speech that we're speaking is hate speech. But again, it's the truth. And the only thing we're doing is condemning the wicked for their wicked ways. You know, their their skirt has been revealed. Uh, Esau's leg been made bare, meaning they've been exposed for all the lies and deception, all their secrecy, all their wickedness that they have done by, in the dark. But as the scripture says, there's nothing that can be hid in the dark. It's eventually going to come to to the light, roughly paraphrasing. Mm. So this is why we're looked at as enemies of the state. You know, we're going to be hated by all men for Yahweh Shah's name's sake because even our Lord and Savior was hated when he was on the scene. You know, the the, the gospel that he was uh, uh, um, speaking was new to the, the scribes and the Pharisees, you know, and they looked at him as, oh, is he a, he's a blasphemer or he's, he's uh, you know, he's... He's, he's he has uh, Satan in him. He has the the bezel bulb, or he got he got hate in him, you know. But that is what the gospel has been since uh, the foundation, man. Yeah, you know. Yeah, like I said, right? Yahweh is one of the most controversial men ever. Controversial men ever, because like uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, what he was saying was against the uh, the current establishment at the time. You know, you know, he was preaching a new gospel, a That's new right. way, a new way of thinking, which was a threat to the to the Roman Empire at the time. That's and right. the same thing that we are pushing today. We're pushing uh, the king of heaven or, or king Yahweh Shai is on his way. So by, def by default, they're going to come against us, man, because we're telling them that the kingdom is going down, that a new kingdom going to be established. That's so right. Hey, ultimately, oh, yeah, Salake, yeah, I got a precept. Mm -hmm. Salake, bro. Isaiah 62, verse 6, mm -hmm. I have set up watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence and give him no rest till he is established until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Yeah, like you said, right? I have set watchmen upon thy walls or Jerusalem. A watchman duty is pretty much to let you know of the danger ahead, man. The seer, or, or the visionary, they see the foresight. They see what's coming. The job is pretty much to let you know what's coming. I got another precept real quick. Hold that thought. Jeremiah 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So, so if I may add, that's our job. That watchman always came with that spirit of the destruction and prophesying against many countries, a great kingdom. And here today, America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, is a great kingdom, a great, great kingdom of wickedness. So we're prophesying against it, that evil is going to come, war, pestilence, famine. So this is that hate speech that, 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 that the, the normal people are not used to. So they think it's hate speech, but it's only the truth, man. Yeah. And this is why they have uh, a, a gripe against the prophets of the Lord, man. Yeah, the scripture says, like, Galatians, am I there for your enemy because I tell, tell you the, the truth? truth? That's right. So that's exactly like what it is. Now we have become the enemies. Why? Because we're simply uh, telling the truth, right? George Orwell says that in a time of universal deceit, telling the truth become a revolutionary act, man. And that's exactly like what right. it is. The whole world uh, engulfed in wickedness by us telling the truth, we become a target, you know? That's right, and that's what the whole Jacob's trouble when it comes down, ultimately it's Esau, Edom, trying to pretty much, uh, uh, the Lord's going to ordain them to come down on Jake, those that don't believe, because uh, 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 they have the power to do it, you know? They they have the, 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 the military influence, they have the, the media influence, mm -hmm. so they're going to pretty much make themselves the, uh, appear that they're innocent, and they're going to have to remove these groups off the face of the earth. You know, or, 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 or lock them up or even potentially put them to death. And that's that time of trouble, man, that's going to be coming ahead because they know that they have a short time. Again, we said that their skirt is being revealed. They're being they're found as the, the son of perdition. So, you know, they're going to come around with great wrath because they know they have but a short time. man. Right? And that's going to lead to persecution. People being thrown out of their houses and put into these FEMA camps or prisons or, or people just being uh, killed uh, cold blood in the streets, man. Come on, I got Mr. Bray Craig, uh, Isaiah 59, verse 14. And judgment is turned away backward, and justice steady for far off, for truth is falling in the streets, and equity cannot enter. Yea, truth falleth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord Yahweh Shemeshire saw it, and it displeased his displeased him that there was no judgment. And that's exactly what it is, man. You know, uh, the Lord, uh, we, because we sing for righteousness, they hate us, right? And guess, guess what? And for for them coming against us, guess what? That's what that's the reason why the Lord Yahweh Hashem is going to have to destroy this place, man. Because if He does it, there shall no flesh left to be saved, man. That's right. You know, that's exactly what it is, man. The Lord so see the wickedness that's happening in the whole world, and that's exactly He says, uh, "I will therefore hold my tongue no more as touching the wickedness right. which the prophetic commit." So the Lord is pretty much 
raising up the prophets to let you know to to giving you a way out but guess what all you're doing is pretty much uh you're gonna come against the prophet you're gonna call them all kind of name you're gonna uh, persecute them you're gonna throw them into prison oh, sure. which eventually gonna uh pretty much uh uh make your how about go angry even more man that's right that's right and this is what we here to, to uh to push and warn Hey, you got to be prepared because these times of uh, uh, persecution and being falsely accused is, is, is coming, man. You see these articles, you see these reports, you know, the, again, Project Megiddo, uh, Rex 84, you know, these people in the FEMA camps. You know, th th this is what's coming, man. That persecution is coming. So you got to know that, hey, you got to be uh, circumspect and be get your mind prepared for these times because it's, it's coming, especially... Uh, for you Hebrew Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. That persecution is inevitable. I got Matthew 5, verse 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. See, that's the point, man. We're going to be persecuted and we're going to be... Uh, 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 speaking against uh, uh, evil and falsely. We're going to be falsely accused, you know. Being called terrorists or potential threats or rapists or bums or, you know, all type of uh, 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 insults that that Esau can pretty much uh, 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 con con conger up, mm -hmm. you know, conjure off, yeah. to, to, to pretty much uh, 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 give them the green light to remove us. The same way how they did with the so-called Arabs during 9-11, you know, the, uh, they pushed that narrative that it was uh, Al-Qaeda, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. bin Laden and... Just overnight, in seconds, they became the boogeyman, the bad guy, the evil, you know? Yeah, yeah. So that's what's going to happen. It says, blessed are ye when we're persecuted for righteousness sake. For, and for the righteousness sake, it's for Yahweh Shah, you know? We're going to have to be going through that persecution because we stand up for something righteous. And this world is, 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 is engulfed and in wickedness. nothing but wickedness, man. I just want to continue on. Verse mm -hmm. 12, uh, rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted the they, the prophets, which were before you. See, so this happened to our Lord and Savior. The servant's not greater than the master. The prophets that have been before us, they had to go through persecution. Uh, the apostles being put to death, stoned, hung, you know, upside, so, down. upside down, so on and so forth. Uh, for, 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 for living and preaching a righteous gospel, this is the uh, uh, consequences. And this is what we're here to warn you to prepare your mind. So when we see articles like this, this should only get you prepared even more that, hey, uh, Esau is going to find any uh, uh, obstacle or any ways to pretty much uh, come down on you, bro. Come on, this is uh, uh, Revelation 12, verse 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandment and ha of Yahweh and have the testimony of Yahweh Shamashiach. So the dragon is who? The dragon is Esau, man. The NATO, the EU, you know, America, you know. The whole, the, the whole Esau's uh, infrastructure, you know what I'm saying? Right. They're going to make war with who? The, the woman. The woman symbolizes the nation of Israel. In Jeremiah 6 and 2, it says, uh, I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. So they, these devils, they're going to make war against us. Ultimately, those of the circumcision, those that know they are the Hebrew, Hebrew Israelites, That's those right. that's out there prophesying the downfall, they're going to come against us because uh, what we're pushing is against the agenda, is against the agenda of the global elitists, right? Says in the dragon was rough with the woman, you know, rough gun blazing. So Esau knows he's going to go down. So he's not going to go down without yeah, a fight. He's going to yeah, fight yeah. tooth and nail to preserve his hegemony, to power, to the, his power, his influence, right? That's right. Uh, way to make war with the remnant of his seed, which keep the commandment, which believe in Yahweh Hashem Shai, believing in Yahweh Hashem Shai. That's it. That's a commandment on itself, man, right? And have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. So we know the testimony of Yahweh Shai pursuant to Revelation 19 and 10. Is what the spirit of prophecy. So ultimately, what these devils are afraid of are the prophecies, man. He, right. They know according to prophecies that Esau are gonna go down. He's gonna go into slavery. So they're trying to prevent prophecy from happening, and that's exactly why eventually they're gonna come against us. And that's exactly why we see he has laws and legislation to pretty much justify his wickedness um, by coming against us, man. You know, yep. that's the time we're in. So pretty much, uh, you still uh, got more now, right? In Revelation is twelve, twelve or seventeen. Yeah, got more. Yeah, it says that's, that's that was no, twelve and twelve. That was a uh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Revelation twelve verse twelve. Yeah. It says, "Uh, therefore rejoice in heavens, yeah. and ye that were in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, 
because he knows that he had but a short time. Yeah, the devil's gonna come down having great wrath because he knows he has but a short time. And like brothers, we were getting into, you know, the prophets being awakened in this truth, and our job is to pretty much uh, prophesy the downfall of this place and also wake up. Uh, our people back from from the dead so they see that they seeing a huge awakening throughout the four corners of the earth all in the same uh, uh um same uh, um same accordance speaking same this accord, word yeah, yeah, totally. speaking this word and prophesying so now they know that hey this is this is a a time where they have to move quick man they have to move quick that's why they have to come down with great wrath cuz they're losing their info their their power with the manipulation through their witchcraft, through their media, through their news, you know, people are starting to realize that, hey, these guys are liars and deception. Again, that goes back to the son of perdition being revealed. So now they got to come down guns blazing with that wrath, you know, with that sword, you know, and they're going to come uh, again. Uh, was it in uh, Second Ezra 16, have a great insurrection mm -hmm. upon those that fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hey, articles like this just shows that, hey, they're, they're, they're are setting the stage up for uh, to for, for when they, when time is right for them to come down and, and start locking uh, 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 you Israelites up, bringing them into camps, uh, even putting them to death. And this is what we're here to tell you: Hey, they they they're uh, they got their back against the wall. They're being exposed, man. So they're gonna come down soon because they know that the prophecy reads that they're the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of that follow. I got one more preacher. This is uh, I, uh, Acts fourteen verse twenty two. Acts fourteen verse twenty two, and it reads: uh, Confirming the souls of the disciples. And exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Hashemeshai. So ultimately, we're gonna have to try. To be, we're gonna have to be tried, you know, as God in the on the first of of, of adversity. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what it is. So going to the kingdom, it's not gonna be an easy walk, man. It's gonna be it's right. gonna be a dangerous, you know, a a, a, a narrow path which lead into everlasting life, man. And that's like uh, how uh, how the Lord Yehovah Shimshai set this whole thing up, you know? So that's that's right. like what it is. So, that's you know, right. that was a, a lesson. We hope this was edifying. We want to give our praises in honor and glory due to Yehovah Shimshai, Yehovah Shimshai, double honor to our elders, apostles, our great Nelson Jemez, who will walk, and our peace and blessings to the hopefully Lekakiam, out there pushing this gospel all across the globe in righteousness, in sincerity, and in truth. Until next time, shalom. Shalom.